Hey guys, welcome back to the show. If you're new, please subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. This time I am back out at Silver Mountain with uh, Nomi and Omar. Now, Silver Mountain is up in the upper peninsula of Michigan. It is a fairly uh, small crag, but the quality of the rock is amazing. It's a basalt uh, cliff. Um, I did a previous review of the area uh, where I talked a little bit about um, where the parking is, where the camping is. So this time I want to focus more on the actual climbing. Uh, so there's one five six that everybody kind of gets on. Um, and then there's actually a, a whole bunch of five nine routes, which are, are really good routes. We did uh, four of the five nines today. Um, I found that they were a little soft. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe only one of them I felt was a true five nine. Um, so, and, and it seemed like a lot of the people that we were talking to at the crag today also felt that the grades there are a bit soft. So there are quite a few routes there for uh, beginners and moderates uh, to, to climb. Um, and there are quite a few trad routes down on the slab, but uh, it seems like very few people get on those. Uh, really the sport routes are the top uh, notch routes there, I think. There's a couple of uh, two pitch routes as well. Um, one of which we're gonna get on tomorrow. Yeah. Um, above hell, below. I think it's above hell, beyond heaven, something like that. Uh, I'll I'll make sure to note what it is uh, when I edit the video. So definitely want to check that out. Um, as far as the ones we got on today, mm -hmm. what would you guys say your favorite route? What was the name of that spider one? Uh, Revenge of the Barking Spiders. Yeah, Revenge of the Barking Spiders. Uh, that was a really good one. Definitely I like that good a route. Lot. The top um, portion, I thought, kind of like a, you know, side pool, Gaston finish. Mm -hmm. I thought was a really great move, and probably the five nine that had a legit five nine move. Mm -hmm. Even though Omar uh, avoided that move, I made it a five ten. Would have easily five ten with my moves. Yeah, just because it's so dirty and no one climbs that part. Exactly, it's a five ten. Yeah, but uh, fantastic climbing. What would you say favorite route so far? Uh, I was it was the one we talked about before. Uh, it was at five nine that had like some water at the second bolt. Ah, uh, sloth like reflex. Yeah, that one. That, that was, was a cool one. Okay, I thought that uh, if it was drier, it probably would have been better. Yeah, it was, it was a, a bit wet, bit wet today. Yeah. So. Yeah, I felt like there was only like one wet part. Maybe at the bolts it was a little wet. Yeah. Um, that first clip, you know, definitely needed if you're a little sketched out at the first part. Of that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So really great stuff. Definitely check it out. Uh, it was well worth coming back. Uh, we have a beer review for you today. So this one is something special and this one's brought to us by Omar <laughs> sponsored today's beer review so this is a uh, strawberry cheesecake fruited sour ale so it says this beer starts with our kettle soured Berliner Weiss and is layered up with lactose toasted almond and strawberry puree Designed to invoke the midsummer treat of rich cheesecake and fresh strawberries, this brew lands in the sweet spot between easy drinking and decadent. Crack open a slice of cheesecake and enjoy. So uh, this does contain lactose, so if you're lactose intolerant, it might not be good for you. But uh, we're going to try it. This is from Explorium Brew Pub um, out of Glendale, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm and it's 4.9% ABV, so let's give it a try. Oh, hell yeah. I've been looking forward to this one. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. Smell like strawberry cheesecake? You can smell it, and it smells like strawberry puree. Wow, that smells very strawberry. I have a feeling she's gonna like this one a lot. That is good. I like this. That is good. It actually tastes really like cheesecake. Like it actually tastes like strawberry it's cheesecake. Like, almost like Cheesecake that's kind of got a, that citrusy bite to it. Yeah. That is delicious. It actually doesn't have too much of the beer flavor. So it's check like it out. A, it actually it's cool can. better than you would think. Yeah. Comes in a pack of four one pint cans. Uh, really good stuff. So, uh, again, Explorium Brew Pub, 
uh, strawberry cheesecake. Definitely check it out. Definitely check out the climbing. Really and good. please subscribe. Surprise. We'll see you guys next time. I'd buy again. <laughs>
You can do a single rappel if you have two ropes, because it is 140 feet, so uh, you could tagline and, and do it that way, but amazing, amazing stuff. So definitely want to check that video out, out coming up next. Uh, and since we're interrupting the video, we're going to do a second beer review. All right, so we have from Indeed Brewing Company, the Cerveza Horchata. Uh, beer brewed with cinnamon flavor and lactose. So it is 7.8% ABV. That's a fairly strong beer. Yeah. So I've never had horchata. You guys said it's what? It's like a cinnamon rice water. Cinnamon, cinnamon milk. milk, if you will. Well, that explains really the lactose yeah. that it's brewed with. So yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go here. Dude, cheers. All right. Cheers, bud. Good climbing. <laughs> Silver Mountain, let's see what the Orchata is. That's not for me. I'm sorry, that's not for me. <laughs> I don't taste the Orchata. It just tastes like beer. It tastes like cinnamon. And it's got a bit of a bitter aftertaste. And beer. It's cinnamon <laughs> beer. That's... <laughs> Maybe I need a camera or something. Let's see. Yeah, you can have the rest. Also, <laughs> it's not great. The strawberry cheesecake was much better. That beer was amazing. The strawberry cheesecake <laughs> was amazing. This is not great. It just tastes like beer. I mean, I think that it it's strong. It yeah. is It is. You know, if they rolled it back, maybe like like the strawberry cheesecake, like four point nine or something. You know, yeah. single digits, not seven. Um, it might be better, but yeah, it just tastes like beer with their attempt to throw cinnamon in it. Yeah, and I think it's kind of, it has a, a wheat beer taste to it, mm -hmm. right? So it's not like a hoppy beer, yeah. right? Not like an IPA. It's definitely like a wheat beer. Um, you know, not blonde style, but definitely a wheat beer. Touch of cinnamon. I'm not going to drink the whole beer. <laughs> I'm gonna drink it to see if it gets better. It won't it's get better. It's not getting any better. But if it's your thing, there you go. Check it out. Indeed Brewing, Cerveza Orchata. And like I said, check out this climbing. And again, guys, please subscribe. Thanks. Cerveza Day. When you wake up one morning and you realize All groggy and misty-eyed That you're flying right through the sky On a falcon named Jebediah When you come to You see right in front of you Jebediah staying cool He ain't scared of the sky Or to die from a fall to the earth But you know that he's got those wings And a beacon of voice that sings Among many other powerful things He's the king of the falcons then you think about it every single brain cell That has gotta be some kind of magic spell You start feeling the seed, you stand up with your lungs swelled And your chest heaves sand King Jebediah
set, hold on tight, call up, we're stooping the war. The never thin around me got weightless, even if I tried, I couldn't escape this. So I fastened my arms around Jebediah's neck, then we fell to the ground at the speed of sound. And just like that, something else happened. Fifty fighting Falcons started passing, war ready from head to talon. A large battalion of Falcons stooping below, then I saw a way over in the distance. Through my water run eyes and the intense mist, a kettle of hawks fighting fire with stone. And King Jebediah tried to topple his throne. to the 